at Oracle AI World 2025, Larry Ellison highlighted that the real power of AI comes when you apply it to your own company's data to drive efficiency. That's exactly where business object tool shines. Hello everyone, welcome back to Oracle Fusion AI Agent tutorial series. In this video, we are going to create an AI agent from scratch powered by business object, not using Oracle Dell Word AI agent template. We will start with a real world use case and then build a business object from scratch together. From there, we will connect it step by step, the whole nine yards. Along the way, I will share some best practices to help your AI agent access live data and respond intelligently to real-time questions. Stay with me till the end and you will be ready to build your own business object with confidence. I am Siva Khoya, an Oracle Ace and Certified AI Agent Professional. If you are ready, let's dive in and get hands-on. Let's talk about a common pain point. If a buyer wants to know what's the total purchase order spent for a supplier ABC or he wants to export some specific purchase order details in CSV format. In the current world, it is time consuming. We have to build a data model, layout, run the report, export the data to answer a simple business question. What if your users can ask AI agent these business questions and getting the answers instantly without running any reports? This is exactly what we are going to set up. In this demo, we will build a business object tool on top of the purchase order REST API so our AI agent can query pure data on the fly and return dynamic and real-time answers. Before we start creating business object in AI Agent Studio, we first need to pick the right API for our use case. Business objects doesn't store data themselves. They use REST APIs to pull live data directly from our Fusion application. Now, let me show you how to quickly find the purchase order REST API from Oracle documentation. To locate out of the box REST APIs for Oracle Fusion, navigate to docs.oracle.com under cloud applications. I will click on see all to navigate to procurement product. I will click on the procurement hyperlink under ERP. Then I will navigate to APIs and schema by clicking on the hyperlink. Then I will click on REST API for Oracle Procurement Cloud. Here you can see a list of tasks you can perform using APIs. These tasks are listed in alphabetical order. Since our use case is about querying purchase order details, I will navigate to purchase orders section. I will go ahead and click on the link. Our task is to fetch all the purchase orders from our Fusion application. So I will select the relevant task, which is get all purchase orders. Here is the REST API endpoint that we need to get all purchase order information from Oracle Fusion. Even though I demonstrated this for purchase orders, now you know how to navigate to your particular task based on your use case. I will go ahead and copy this API endpoint to use it in my next activity. If I scroll down, we can see a list of data elements that this API returns from our Fusion application. Before we build a business object in Oracle Fusion, I always recommend to quickly test the REST endpoint in Postman. As you can see, I have pasted the API endpoint that I copied from Oracle website at the end of my Fusion application host name. Now I will hit send to verify if the API endpoint is retrieving all the purchase order information. Before I hit send, make sure this user have access to all the purchase orders. Now I will hit send button. Now you can see the API endpoint is returning all purchase orders. In reality, 
that's not what we want there could be thousands of purchase orders and it's not practical to work with everything so next i will show you how to add filters to this api call so we only bring back the specific rows of data we actually care about before we add any filters let me show you a quick trick first we need to know which fields oracle actually allows us to filter on to find that out we can append describe at the end of the api endpoint let's do that now and see what fields are available for filtering after i hit send the api responds with a list of field properties based on this field property we can determine if we can add this as a filter or not for this demo i'm going to use the status field to filter my purchase order rows and only bring back pos with the status of open let me show you the updated api endpoint here is my updated api endpoint now i am only querying purchase orders with an open status and i have limited the response to specific key fields i care about now i will go ahead and hit send button now i am happy with the data coming from this api endpoint it's time for the fun part creating the business object before we build our new business object let's zoom out for a second In step 1 we already picked the right API for our use case. Now in step 2 we are going to connect that API to our business object so it can pull live data directly from Fusion. To create the business object I will first log in into my Fusion application and then navigate to tools AI agent studio. Once I am in AI Agent Studio, I will go down to the footer and click on Business Object to start creating a new one. I will click the Add button to create our new business object and then fill in a few basic details to get it set up. The starting portion of the resource path is already filled in for us. All I need to do now is append purchase orders at the end so it matches the REST API endpoint we saw earlier in the Oracle documentation. Now I will add a clear description for this business object. Next, I will add a business object function by clicking the plus button. Now I'll fill in the required details how this function should call our API and return data to our AI agent. The next step is to select the specific fields that we want this API to return so our AI agent has exactly the data it needs to reason on. Nothing more, nothing less. In order to do that, I'll click on the button add field from specification once i have selected all the fields i need i'll go ahead and click done to save this business object function now i want to fine tune the resource path using the same api url we finalized in postman the idea here is we should only fetch the specific data that we care about i just pasted the filtered url then i will remove the explicit field list from the query string because we already selected those fields in the business object function a moment ago that's it now i will click done then on create button to save our business object function Our business object is now ready and now we can add it to the AI agent's tool list. An AI agent cannot call a business object directly. It has to use it as a tool. So, let's go ahead and add our business object to the tools list. 
To do that, I will click on the Tools button in the AI Agent Studio footer. I will click on Add button. From the Tool Type drop down, I will choose Business Object and then fill in the details. So, this business object is available as a tool for our AI agent. We have now added our business object as a tool. I will now click on create button to finish the tool setup. Now I will create a new AI agent and attach our new tool to it. So AI agent can start using our business object to query purchase order data. In order to do that, I will click on the Agents button. I will click the Add button to create a new AI agent and then quickly fill in the key details to set it up. The most important part of creating a new AI agent is the prompt. You need to clearly explain how this agent should use the tool to answer user questions. Elaborate as much as you can so that you can get the desired results. To hook up our new tool to this AI agent, I will first highlight the tool section in AI Agent Setup and then click on the tool icon in the menu, search for our business object tool and then hit plus icon to add it to this agent. I will now go ahead and click on the create button to create our new AI agent. For the final step, I will create a new AI agent team, which is our end product that responds to user questions. Once I create AI agent team, I will associate our new AI agent and that wraps up our AI agent setup end to end. I will go ahead and do this. We have just finished creating our AI agent team. Now it's time to test it and see how it responds to real user questions. I will now click on the run button to ask some questions. If I click on the angular brackets icon, you can see exactly how many tokens the AI agent used and how long it took to generate the response. You just saw how our AI agent handle everything from simple questions to complex scenarios. Now you have seen how powerful a business object can be when you build the right AI agent on top of it. If today's content is helpful to you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Oracle Fusion AI agent demos and tips.